In the back rooms, the levels that you can explore are often really big or really small. Some of them expand into huge infinite areas, and some of them generate new areas for you to explore. But usually while you're doing this, your body and your physical appearance stays the same size. You don't grow or shrink. Until you get to the level that today's video is about, level 948. Because here in this place, it seems like your body is shrunk down inside the level, and you're just a couple inches tall. It also seems like the level is made from blankets that you saw in your childhood, and you're exploring these blankets as a small, like, two-inch tall human. This is the most normal backrooms level ever. Plus, there's some kind of entity here that we barely know anything about, and it may or may not be a grandma or something mimicking your grandma. So if any of that sounds cool to you at all, you'll enjoy this video. Leave a like if you do, by the way, it always helps out. And without further ado, let's get into whatever I just described's explanation, shall we? Level 948 is one of the most unique levels that I've truly ever gone over on this channel. Seriously, it, it, I don't know where to start, but I'm going to right now. It starts with the following quote. Level 948 is a peaceful, safe land made of nothing but quilts. It was made for me one year ago today. So you can kind of see the vibe the level's going for. There's no classification graphic given for this level, but since the quote I just read said it's peaceful, we're gonna assume it's peaceful. So for now, I'm gonna give it a class one. The level is a vastly large, outdoor quotation mark area that has the layout and geography pretty similar to the real world. It's got hills and trees and valleys and everything else you'd see in nature, except for one big difference that I mentioned earlier inside of the intro. Everything here in the level is made out of fabric and it seems to be blankets and quilts. So instead of dirt and hills and layers of sediment and rocks and stuff, there's quilt and fibers and blankets and carpet stuff and all that sort of stuff here. I just said stuff like five times, sue me. There are large canyons in this landscapes and there's holes and caves and trees and prairies. And the entire level just seems like it's real or it's trying to look like it's real, but it's made out of soft blanket material that you can walk around on. There's no logic, it makes no sense or anything like that. And it all seems stitched together and handmade. Like something tried to stitch together a backrooms level with a needle and thread, which might be what happened here. More on that later. Like I just said, the ground and the environment is made out of soft, fabric quilt material and the presence of cotton is everywhere the smell while you're walking around on this level is nostalgic it smells like old warm blankets that you used to have as a child at your grandparents house the smell is intoxicating it just makes you want to travel even further through this jungle of blanket the temperature here is moderate and it seems to be climate controlled since there's no visible sun it's thought that the entire expanse is inside of a room somewhere and again the room is either very big or you've been shrunk down to be very small walking through this empire of blankets. The fabrics themselves are multicolored and they depict different designs that also go with different environments. For example, you could be in a green quilted or fabric environment and the environment would resemble a rainforest or a forest. Or you could be in a tan area and it would be hotter because it would resemble a desert and so on and so forth. Visible stitching can be seen in the environments of the level as well where the different places have been stuck together using fabric and line. It is unknown how big the level is in total since like I said it feels like you're shrunk down we can't really tell but what we do know is that the level seems to be unfinished this great giant blanket natural expanse of the level has not been completed because there are some edges of the level where you can walk to and the landscape just falls off below there's no continuation and it's just an empty stitch or something more has not been stitched onto it so essentially it's like a work in progress kind of and whatever is stitching stuff together is not done walking around this level you'll notice that everything is huge the hills and the valleys seem life-size even though they're made out of blanket material and to me that pretty much confirms that people that get sent here are shrunk down to an inch or two tall if you continue walking around this blanketed expanse you'll eventually run into different areas that i mentioned briefly earlier first you might run into the prairie area. In this place, there are tree trunk type things that resemble a forest. But of course, they're not actual trees. Instead, they are just large cotton fibers of a thick blanket that resemble that. The fibrous trees have no branches, they have no leaves, they are just single fiber strands poking up. But it does resemble a forest, like I said. 
depending on where you explore next, you might run into different places, like mountains, or rivers, or valleys. For instance, there's a white area in this level that resembles a stark and abandoned arctic climate. The different areas with the different colors make you feel different. In some areas, you can feel cold and alone. In other areas, you can feel warm and at home. That rhymed! But it really is almost like this level was made just for you. It's as if there's love woven into the fibers of the ground beneath your feet, just like a grandma would make for you. I wasn't sure how they were going to tie that into this level, but they did just then, and I appreciate them for it. The page says that venturing even deeper into the level, you might find other places, such as a small town. This small town has identical shaped houses that are made from quilt and fibers themselves, and they resemble sort of the level 94 houses. The towns you might run into are small and roadless, and they're empty and they're simple, but they are towns nonetheless, and they're supposedly pretty peaceful and relaxing to explore. Going even further past Past all of what I just talked about, you might run into really steep hills and really oppressive environments. The valleys and ravines can get bigger, even though they look just like crinkles inside of a quilt, they're still dangerous because you could fall down in them and it's really hard for you to get out. The last paragraph of the levels page is pretty interesting, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it for you, that way you get the full vibe, and it goes like this. Level 948 is accessible to the mortals that populate the back rooms, as much of a difficult choice that was to make. I know what they'll do to it. I can see the damage they'll cause trying to farm this level, but this level needed a purpose. She always appreciated her creations being used by her daughters and granddaughters so much so that the ones they own almost look unrecognizable now. Besides, I, I don't feel like I can get enjoyment out of this level without that constant tinge of sadness rattling in the back of my head." End quote. As you can tell by that, this level is indeed created by some entity. In that paragraph, it was referred to as she, so I'm assuming it's a she. But this place does feel comfortable. It feels like there's love and acceptance here, and it feels very, very nostalgic, as if these blankets were the same ones you had as a kid. And each different blanket you go on, each different environment and color was a different person's childhood blanket. An interesting thought. It seems like a quilt at heaven. It seems too good to be true. And if you know anything about the back rooms at all, you'll know that levels that appear to be safe, nine times out of ten are not safe, and they're in fact usually deadly. So that leaves some questions about this level. The main one being who made it, and the other one being why is it so good? It seems too good to be true, it, it can't be that good. As I mentioned earlier, there's been several references to a grandmother entity, or some grandma figure, that is woven this tapestry of blankets and quilts together. The entire page that's written about this level kind of has the tone of the author being entranced or having love for the level. So by that, we can reasonably conclude that there's some sort of entity that's a grandma or resemble some grandma figure trying to make this level bigger or create more parts to it. Whether it's your actual grandma or an entity that mimics them, we don't know. But I'm going to assume that it's a fake mimicky creature that somehow mimics your grandmother. And we can conclude logically that it's not actually a safe level, no matter what the author says. It's some sort of trick or trap to get you to go further into the blankets and never be seen again. And I quite like the theory I just came up with while scripting this video that you heard earlier. How each different environment, each different color of blanket might be a different wanderer's childhood blanket that spawned in once they got here and got lost. And that's why there's so many different areas. Maybe if you get lost, if you get sent here, your blanket will be the next area that people can explore. If you want to enter this expanse of quilts and perhaps see a fake grandma here and get shrunken down, that might be pretty cool, you can find a single door on level 196 with a quilt on it, then open up that door to be here. There's also no listed exit. So as I said, that plays into the level being a trap. But what I just explained is all we know about the level. Leave your theories in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed this one. It's definitely interesting, you know, getting shrunk down to explore these giant piles of blankets and quilts. It's very, very unique. I like it. It's very backrooms, but not too crazy. Also, let me know in the comments if you think my theory is pretty close, how all the different blankets might be other wanderers' childhood blankets that are conjured up when they come here and get lost. I don't know. It just seems like it's pretty likely. But thank you for watching at the end of the video. This one was more unique for sure, and I, I definitely wanted to make a video on this the second I saw it. It's kind of confusing, it's kind of not, which means it's perfect for the backrooms level. But anyways, thank you for all you do. Check out my socials in the description below, my other channel, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that stuff. Leave a comment telling me what else you want to see on the channel. I got a ton of stuff coming. But with all that said, video's getting a little long. I'll end it off here. I love and appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next video.